Hi, I'm Dr. Slava Goffnik, endocrinologist at UCLA Health. Today I'd like to talk about bone mineral density scans and how to interpret the results. So what is your T-score? No, this is not a golf term, nor are we asking if you prefer Earl Grey over chamomile. The T-score refers to your bone density. It is determined after you undergo a special x-ray of your bones called the DEXA scan. The DEXA scan is performed on a machine that you will lie flat on, and an arm on the machine will scan your hips, spine, and sometimes wrists. A computer will calculate a score called a T-score, which tells us how dense the bones are. Each set of bones has its own T-score, so the left hip has a different score from the right hip. We rely on the T-score because it tells us of the risk of a bone breaking. The T-score compares your bone density to someone in their 30s. A normal T-score is between 0 and negative 1. A T-score between negative 1 and negative 2.5 is considered osteopenia. When the T-score goes below negative 2.5, that is considered osteoporosis. The lower the score, the higher the risk of a breaking a bone. It is useful to track T-scores over time. If we see a rapid drop in the T-score, we may decide to start medical treatment. If we see that the T-score is stable, we may decide to hold off on treatment. Also, if someone is already on treatment for their osteoporosis, we can monitor their response to treatment based on the T-scores. T-scores are just one factor we consider when assessing risk for a fracture. If you happen to develop osteopenia or osteoporosis, our physicians and endocrinologists at UCLA Health will work closely with you to reduce your risk for a fracture. For more information or to schedule an appointment, please give us a call or visit our website. Thank you for watching.